Hey guys, what's up? It's Wendell from Rogue. We're getting a lot of inquiries from around the world about the difference in these types of collars. So just to make it really clear, this video is in the context of a heavy duty collar. So I've selected our regular fit, super tough. We have these in a wider version, um, a slimmer version, and then this is the regular fit. Um, and this is a style that's going around at the moment. Um, it's got the cobra buckle and you know, Looks like a pretty cool collar. But in terms of the actual heavy duty ness of these collars, I want to point out three main factors so you can make up your own minds, okay? Number one um, is the D shackle. And over here, you can see our D shackle, which is solid stainless steel, is looped over with one layer. And then you've got a double ply layers here. So if that was to break for whatever reason, this would still be held by this. So that breaks, it doesn't fly off, it's caught here. So you're still attached collars on the dog, leashes on the D shackle, and it's still hold. After 12 years, we've never actually had that happen, but it's engineered to be overkill, and it's an extremely safe setup, very simple in design. But it's amazing it works really well if it had to work okay so that's the first heavy duty aspect and the safety aspect of the collar and i think that's probably the most important because after all um, the d shackle and the collar is what's holding the dog and especially if you've got a situation where you've got a working dog um, in a crowd or you've got like a working dog on a game reserve and people don't want a dog coming off really really important okay so you can imagine it's engineered for those conditions these collars come with a lifetime guarantee so for your average you know dog in a civilian situation it's really more than enough so the d shackle number one i'm gonna now take you through and show you the setup on this d shackle so again um d shackle is pretty cool strong steel however this is stitching and if this stitching after some time if the dog keeps you know pulling or tugging on the collar ultimately the stitching cannot be as strong as the actual double ply whole material so ultimately the stitching is going to fray loosen break off whatever the case may be this will simply tear off and that's going with it so it's really not that strong the handles a little bit you know flimsy and no disrespect but again, this video is for customers who want a heavy duty collar, okay? So that's something to research and consider, just the architecture of how it's set up. And again, on a photo, you know, you may not pick that up, but it's really important to understand that. There you have it, close up, okay? So a lot of the force, there's no secondary backup, and this stitching is taking the brunt of the pull. So, that's a really major point, number one. Number two, it's quite heavy, um, but you're only as strong as your weakest link. And you've got two pins here, and we've had customers who've come in or contacted us, they want a really heavy duty collar, again, which is why I'm making the video, and these two pins have been known to break. Whereas in 12 years, um, we have a double pin buckle, it's not as heavy, so it actually gives you a better balance. It's just heavy duty in the right places. So these two stainless steel um, needles, buckles, um, really are very strong. We've got the reinforced eyelets, uh, which is pretty cool, so the fabric doesn't tear. And we've never ever had one of these break in 12 years, so they're very, very strong, okay? And there's videos on YouTube that show these lifting like a 500 kilo Ford motor. They just don't give. So that's point number two, um, the matter of the buckle. So, you know, again, this looks really impressive, but it's really only as strong as these two pins. Number three, comfort. So if this is an everyday collar um, and your dog's wearing it around, or even if it's a, a, a collar for your, a working dog where it's lunging or, you know, might be back tied. If you want to listen to this, um, you know, you're not going to be doing that to the dog's neck, but it's just really for the purpose of the video. Um, that's okay, like it's a soft fabric, really strong, but it's soft. Whereas this one, 
You can try this yourself and see how it feels. Um, that doesn't feel great on, on the bone, you know. So you've got this um, coming up against the neck, so it's steel on the skin, whereas this one is just a smooth fabric. There, there's a little bit of metal here, but it's very smooth and very rounded. But the majority of the contact is the fabric, whereas this one, that's a lot of steel exposure. And you've got little nooks and crannies there. So if you've got a dog with jowl and things like that, um, it can get caught and can pinch. So three points about these two products. Again, it's not, you know, it's not about throwing shade on a product. It's just helping people make an informed decision. Do the research for yourself. Try it out like I've done and, um, and let us know. Love to hear your feedback. So thanks guys. Hope this has helped when you're making that decision and um, take care out there. Cheers.